You know, as Matt Broderick and I from The Fisherman have been running around ICAST all week, the one thing that's really cool is they have a Tuesday um, morning uh, outdoor event. It's right there uh, by the pond, uh, by the big lake at Orlando, and that's where we can start to see some of the stuff we're going to see indoors. But I'd stopped off at the Bahio booth that was outside, and I picked up a pair of the Roca glasses, which it's hard to tell when you're inside. But outside, what the first thing I did was put it on, I went, wow. <laughs> And the guys behind the booth said, that's what we keep hearing. And I guess that's probably a good indication why Roca from Bajio is the product winner at ICAST Best of, uh, of the Sunglasses. Al Perkinson, you're the designer, you're the guy that came up with this and brand new company. We talked to you last year and you're only a few months old at that time. Here you are about a little over a year old and things are going pretty well with the award. They are, I mean, it's been a crazy year and a half. Uh, things are going a lot faster than we had planned, <laughs> uh, which is good and bad, yeah. but it's uh, mostly good. <laughs> and, uh, not good for sleep, but, but, but good for the business. There's no sleep at ICAST, no that's sleep. not allowed. Tell me about the Roka and tell me about the lens technology. What's, what's so much different about these than anything else people have used on them? Well, the Roka frame itself is has a side shield on it, and it's a lot of rubber, super technical frame. Our uh, Bales Beach is another style that we have, it's a large, and that's our number one seller. Is it? Yeah, so we, we took the idea of Bales Beach and we made an extra large frame, which is Roca, because all those fishermen have big heads. <laughs> and and uh, it's funny, we even have big heads or real skinny heads. So we made a, another one called Palometta, which is a smaller version. So we entered Roca into the new product showcase and it won. I don't think you just won for the frames though. I think really the lenses have taken off. What is it about the lens technology? Yeah, I mean the lens technology uh, is something that's new to the sunglass world. It's been around in the Plano uh, clear world for a while. In the last 10 years when so many people are on social media, on their phones, have screens in front of their faces all the time, computers, CDs, phones, uh, what we found is those all emit blue light and blue light it uh, does a lot of bad things, but one of which is it, it makes your body not produce melatonin so you don't sleep. And so insomnia has become this huge problem and people take melatonin pills. Well, if they wear the blue light glasses, they don't have to do that. And so the sun is actually the biggest producer of blue light. So if you're fishing, you're out on the water all day long, you're being subjected to a ton of blue light and it has those same negative effects on your health. Uh, so when, so we developed the first sunglasses to, to block most of the blue lights. We block it 95% up to 445 nanometers, uh, which is where the bad blue light stops. Now the result of that is that things get super clear. Yeah, that's So it's like a windshield that has mud all over it, and you get it clean, and you're like, oh wow, I can see again. And that's the effect that these have. So when you tried them on and said, wow, we, you know, that could be our slogan because we hear that <laughs> over and over and over again. It's noticeably, it's, it's, it's really shockingly different. Yeah, and clear is beautiful. You know, clear allows you to take in more information to see the fish better, uh, to see, the, and the world just looks more beautiful. So uh, we're, we're stoked to have this technology. We have patents pending on it, uh, so, which we hope will come through shortly. Uh, but it's a, been a game changer and it's really helped us grow. In, in your career too, because I know about You've been involved in, in sunglass technology for quite a long time. You're all about conservation and sustainable uh, sustainability as well, too. Absolutely. I mean, this this whole company was founded uh, to fund our conservation efforts, really. And uh, you know, there's two things that we're focused on. One is bringing more young people into the sport, uh, especially saltwater fly fishing, but all types of fishing is it's really good for them. But if we get people who love it and who care about it, they'll want to protect it in the future. We also focus on uh, the, the nurseries. So our name is Bahio, which means the shallows. And those are the areas where there's a bayou or a saltwater flat, or it's a marsh flat like up in Charleston. Those are all the nurseries, the estuaries where the young grow. So our whole focus is young. It's to be next generation. And we want to protect the next generation of fish and bring in the next generation of angler. So that's really our mission as a company, and uh, our glasses are a way you know, to do that. So the better our glasses are, the better they sell, the more 
You know, the more money we have to fund the mission, which is good for everybody. I think. The cool thing about Bahio is they have, have the poly lenses or the glass lenses, a uh, variety of lens options in different colors, um, so you can check those out as well. The cool, the cool thing for me was, and one last thing, and I thought this was really neat about Bahio, is I bumped into one of the guys uh, earlier and I was like, yeah, we're hoping to talk to the owner a little later on. He said, well, I'm the owner. <laughs> he said, you, you have a very unique perspective on your business, don't you? We do. I mean, everybody in the company is an owner, and, uh, you know, we're not, there's so many big corporations out there, and every other brand is owned by some giant multinational corporation, and, you know, that's fine, but uh, they just aren't able to care about the individual person and care about the community like we do. We're part of the community, we're independent, privately held, everybody's an owner in the company, and so we take customer service super seriously. Uh, it's personal for us. And when you call us, uh, if you're disappointed with the customer service, call me directly <laughs> I, and uh, we'll get it fixed. But uh, that's a mission of ours is to have real people and real humans um, responding to whatever the needs are out there. Unique company, a very unique set of uh, glasses. Look for Bahio uh, when you get a chance. Congratulations on the win and thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, thanks a lot. Man.